Hello Aquarius! Thank you for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For the support of Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Already shuffled, with the relationship first, single second. Oracle Cards come out where needed. This... This could be quite the interesting situation. <laughs> we have a couple. All right. If there's one thing that's coming through strong and clear, your partner loves you. Loves you to bits. Bits, bits, and bits. Um, there's the angel of love, the woman holding a heart, which don't get caught up in the gender. There's the sun card. There's the star card. The empress card. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of love here from your partner towards you. They love you, love you, love you, love you. All day long. All day long. All day long. Seven days a week. 24 hours a day. Whatever you want to say. They're there. Um, and you know it. I'm getting you should know this quite clearly. I mean, there's so much love on their side. I don't know how you would not know it. So if this reading is hitting with you, you should be quite clear that they love you and they love you to bits. Um, they got the star card on their side with very hopeful about where this is going next. You've got the six of wands. Like, this is a successful moment. You know how you're loved here. You, you appreciate that. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, you know, I mean, there's, some, there's something coming up here, and I get that. <laughs> but I'm getting, you already have an idea about where this is going. Um, and I see you looking at New Horizons. You know your partner loves you. You have things that you know where you want to go in life. And you're heading, you have a certain direction you're heading. You're on that path and you're going that path. So you have your idea, you're, you, you got your, you got your sights set on New Horizons. You do. So you're going, your life is going in a certain direction. And you're like, this is where I'm going. You're in this relationship. And I see you sticking to this. Now, I don't think this is new information to your partner. I don't think it's new. I think they, they're aware of this. Where you're heading, they seem to be quite well aware of. And you got the Hierophant, which is also, this is actually the High Priest, which is reminiscent of the Hierophant usually. And I'm seeing here with this person, like, this is somebody who's holding true to the situation. And this is you. You're, you're doing what you said you were going to do, and it's holding true to the pattern. It may not be the most fun situation, but the, the next part of the phase you said you were going to do, and you're getting involved with that. It's not like, it doesn't matter if you enjoy it or not. This is the next step. This is what you need to do to make your life go where you want it to go, and you're holding true to that. This is not new information is what I'm getting. But your partner seems to be the seven of wands here. It's kind of like, they, they're trying to hold it off. They want you to wait. They want you to slow down. They want you to just kind of like, can we delay this? They want you to delay this. They want you to wait. And I feel like what you're saying is, no, this is on track. This is what I'm going to do. You got this, uh, this, the Six of Swords with the Temperance card. The Six of Swords is your challenge card. The question is, are you just going to go forward and just ignore these pleas from your partner? Because I feel like it's going to take some time to recalculate how you're going to go forward. Because I feel like what, that's what the situation's hoping for. Your partner seems to hope, hope that you're going to recalculate how you're going to do this. But I also see, like, they're saying the challenge card with the Six of Swords is like, just don't blindly go forward and say... I said this is how it was going to go, and I'm just sticking to it and just kind of ignore how they're feeling. I don't know how that sounds, but that's how it's coming through. Like, you know, I said this is how it was going. It's time for this to happen. It's on schedule. Here we go. Here I go. Um, they're saying acknowledging and talking this out with them, even though you probably are not going to change your direction or how you're doing things. Talking it out is necessary it, it really helps the relationship even though i don't see you changing direction or what you're doing talking it out with your partner at least makes makes things better with the relationship 
and they're saying this is something you're going to have to deal with for a while. So it's kind of like if you ignore it now, it pops up later a lot worse than just kind of like talking about it as you keep going forward, keeping them in the loop, talking to them, just keep talking it out with them. Because I don't see you changing pace. I don't see you changing direction or at the very least, I don't see you changing when you do things. It's still staying on schedule. I see it staying right on schedule. And I almost feel like you might not want to talk about this thinking, well, it's not going to change anything. Why talk about it? It's going to change how they feel about it because they do have the sun card here. They do definitely love you and they want you more in their life. And they feel like this is just not a good thing. <laughs> they don't seem to like this. They're thinking that they can change your direction. Their challenge card is the Empress. But I'm seeing like they can't really change your direction. They need to like get more in touch with what you're feeling, where you're going, and why you're staying to the schedule. It needs to get done. It's on time. It's time to do it now. You're doing it. Their challenge card is the Empress to like see it more from your angle. It seems like it's a little harder for them to do that because to them they don't like this. They don't seem to feel good about where it's going in that sense about the connection they're having with you. And I'm feeling like things go a lot better for them if you're able to talk with them. They do have that sun card there, but that's spiritually where they're very connected with you. They feel very stable with you. They just don't seem to like how life is going. They don't seem to like the direction or at least the timing of it. They don't seem to like because they do have a lot of love. They got the angel of love here. But they also have the Three of Swords at the same time. It's saying they, they seem to be very secure in the situation, but they're kind of heartbroken that you're going on the same path, that you're not changing the tempo, that you're not waiting. They want you to delay it, and you're not delaying it. They seem very heartbroken about that. They're kind of like, no, it's, the night's young. The party's still going. Let's stay longer. And you're like, no, I have to get up at 6 tomorrow. I'm going home now because I need to get up tomorrow. It's a great party, yes. But I have other responsibilities that I'm going to hold to and I need to be fresh and ready to do these things. I'm going home now. They don't like that. They're just kind of like, no, this is a great moment. So what if we end up staying up too late? You know, tomorrow will be fine. Don't worry. Nope. I'm going home. I'm going to do it. This is what I said I was going to do. I have responsibilities. I'm sticking to what I said I'd do. And what helps them is to really understand where you're standing. And I feel like if you talk to them, all you need to do is talk it out. It does seem to recoup the situation. Using that same analogy, like, I have to go. I said I was going to do this. I need to be fresh. I need to be alert tomorrow. I need to have my brain at full function. So I need to do this. And you explaining this and talking this out with them, I still feel like you're going to do the same thing. But, it, like, you get them to be more sympathetic to understand, like, it's not that you don't want to be with them. You would love to be with them. But you are holding true. This is what makes you you. Staying true to what you said you would do and making things turn out the way you said they were going to turn out. Holding to your schedule. This, this is what brings the value of you. And you're explaining this. If you explain this to this person, your partner, they will understand. At least they'll get, at least at the very least, they'll understand where you're coming from. And it, it won't cause like an emotional problem. But I feel like you're going to constantly, it feels like it's not just one party. It's like constant events coming forward. And you're just kind of like, no, I can't, I can't burn the candle at both ends. I need to have my brain at full function. I can't do that. And you're not changing what you're doing. But as long as you talk it out with them, it makes things a lot better. If you don't, I just feel it becomes more of a bigger fight later. It might become actually quite the situation later. And you could avoid that now by planning ahead now and talking things out. Even though I feel like you might look at this kind of like, this is something your partner should already know. You Maybe you think it's a non-necessary conversation, but I'm getting it is a necessary conversation. It makes things a lot better. It makes things go a lot more smoothly. It avoids a big fight down the line. We're good? I think we're good. Okay, let's do um, Aquarius single. What do we have for single Aquarians? Messages for single Aquarians. What do we have for single Aquarians? Messages for single Aquarians. What do we have for single Aquarians? Messages for single Aquarians. Oh, that didn't go very long. Okay, let's see what we got. Single Aquarians. What is up with that card? 
I wouldn't say any of your cards are bad. There's the you have the five of cups for where you're standing. I almost wonder if the the person that you're or the something's not hitting here quite right. I think there's somebody you're very attracted to though, but something isn't quite right because you got the five of cups, so something is lacking here. Stop! 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 All right, let's just start from the beginning here. Um, literally, the we're going to start with the past, which seems like the beginning. Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like you've had your eye on somebody for a while. I do. And I feel like, for some of you, this is definitely not going to be everybody, but I get some of you have actually gotten out of a relationship because your attraction to someone else has shown you what you felt in this last relationship, and you ended it because you knew your heart wasn't completely in it. Not for everybody, but for some of you, I feel like the last one you let go of because you knew your heart wasn't completely in it, and you're just like, I have to let this go. So... The one we're coming forward to next, I do feel like you've had your eye on for quite a while. Um, you've wanted to be with this person for quite a while. The question is, can it happen? Now I'm getting the the page of sword page of swords, no, the page of wands. This seems to be like the other person that you're attracted to here doesn't seem to be very responsive at this point. And I'm getting like at first, it doesn't seem like anything's really going to happen with it. Like, responsive in the sense of, like, action actually happening between the two of you. And I'm getting, like, a heavy energy with that. But what I'm getting is you are getting them to warm up to you. You got the Page of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. You're getting them to warm up to you. You're getting them to warm up to the thought. And you're seem to, you seem to be pleading your case, like, you know... We've known each other for so long, and I, I, you know, we get along so well. You seem to be talking this person into something. You're, you're, you're getting them to um, at least acknowledge the feelings. I do feel like they have the feelings, but them taking action on it, it just seems like they're not. But you, you do seem to be pleading your case, and you're getting them to at least acknowledge that, yeah, they feel the same way. And there's a lot here between the two of you, but there is a lot going on with this person. I feel them coming back towards you with the Two of Swords, kind of like, I just don't want to take action on this right now. I don't want to do this. I'm happy with the way my life is. I just don't think this is something I want to do. The Two of Swords. You're appreciating what they have. I'm getting here the Two of Cups at the top is that acknowledgement of the two-way love. Both of you seem to have feelings for each other very strongly. But that journey card is feeling like this other person is just kind of like, I don't think we can do this. I don't think this is, even though the chemistry is there, for whatever reason, they're, they're seeing some type, of hit, hit, some type of hitch. Like, I don't think this is something we should do. And they're, they're seeming to walk away from the romantic side, but they're staying involved in your life. They're still in your life, but not connected romantically. Not, they're not going towards a relationship with you. They're like, I'm going to move on from that. As you keep going forward, the friendship continues. The Ten of Pentacles is telling me the friendship does continue. And this is where your Five of Cups is. You're not... Is that the Five of Cups? Yeah. You're glad this... You're, you, I mean, you like this person in your life, but it's, it's not feeling like it's really serving you. And I feel like you might even be questioning in the future, is, is being around this person keeping me from going from what I really want? Like, is... Does my heart continually go to this person who's decided that they don't want to be with me? Even though they love me, they say they love me, they say they feel the same way, they don't want to be with me, but we seem to continue to have this friendship. And you're questioning, like, is this really good? Like, should I be moving on from this too? Should I actually be moving on from the friendship? Because maybe it's just too hard for me to be a friend to this person when I know I want more. Where this is ending for this read is the the Hermit card 
with the sacral chakra. And I feel like you're looking at this very deeply, kind of like, I really do like this person. I do like them in my life. Can I be okay with them being in my life and not being my partner? Am I ever going to be okay with that or am I constantly going to be pining for them? And I feel like it's one of those questions like, am I just going to keep the same pattern I've had for years? Am I going to keep that going? Because I feel like you've been having feelings for this person for a long time. And you're, you're addressing with yourself like they're a part of my soul. Like I just, I'm always going to have these feelings for this person. Maybe I should remove myself from their life. Not remove them from yours, but pretty much you from them. Kind of like you're just stepping away. You're just kind of like you're not saying we can't be friends anymore. What you're just basically doing is just avoiding situations that would contain them and just finding new things to do without them, that they're not around. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you might be considering a new job because you're, this person's connected to a, to a job situation. You might actually start considering that just because you're like, I just got to disconnect myself from this person. I care about them, but I feel like this is just like living a half-life for me. Where this is going to end off is just kind of like you're going to have to come to terms with like, can you be friends with this person? Or is that always going to leave you wanting more? And if, you, if you're going to find yourself like, I've done this so long where I've just constantly wanted more and it's never going to happen. Do I need to disconnect myself from this person? Do I need to remove them, remove myself from their life? Go to another job possibly so that I don't, so that this isn't a problem anymore because I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to want for somebody who doesn't want to be with me. I feel like some of you actually are going to change your place of employment because of this. Because I feel like it's just basically you're addressing with yourself. I've felt this way for this long. I'm going to continue to feel this way. I got to find a way to get out of this feeling because it does, I don't like it. It's not making me feel good. I just need to find a way to get out of this connection. I feel like that's where this is going to end. You're going to have to find a way to get away from this connection. Not in a bad way, but just in a, I need to free myself from this connection because it's just not, it's just, I'm pining for this person and I need to stop that. So one way or another, you're going to find a way to get yourself to stop pining for this person. Because it feels like that's what this is. And you're just like, if they don't want to be with me, they're never going to be with me. I don't want these feelings. So I'm going to find a way to get away from them. I feel like that's how this is ending. I think I'm trying to make it prettier than it is. Basically, I feel you're going to remove this person from your life. I think the way I'm saying it is just a little too nice. Basically, you're going to remove this person out of your life, even if it's you going to another place of employment. I feel like that's where you're going with this. All right. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.